become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding hi everybody golden era bookworm here with a focus today on tricep exercises practiced by the silver era greats such as bill pearl as pictured here with undoubtedly one of the best developed triceps during the silver era and golden era period I mean, wherever you categorize him, these arms were enormous. Man, just look at those things, those triceps. Arnold would be screaming, it's not a tumor. Hell no, it's a tricep. Damn, Bill Pearl had these enormous triceps that just burst out through his skin. They were insane. And even in today's standard, I think he had one of the best triceps in history. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at some unusual triceps exercises that were used during the silver era that helped develop such titanic triceps like those sported by Bill Pearl. Enjoy. So raise your hands people who wants triceps like Bill Pearl's? I know I do. So listed here is a tricep specialization course with some unusual exercises that I will explain in a moment. What's important, what's most important in tricep specialization, as emphasized by the author of the article I read called Charles A. Smith, he wrote this article, which I am basing this video on, is that with all these tricep movements, you need to think about the function of the tricep, which is to voluntarily extend the arm. And with this in mind, it should definitely help you in getting more out of each movement. After working out, it is also recommended to massage the triceps to improve blood circulation and recovery and to also practice muscle control to better improve mind, muscle control and ability. If you don't know much about muscle control, I recommend the masterpiece book, Muscle Control by Maxic, available on my website as an ebook. Now the tricep specialization courses listed here includes reverse lying tricep extensions done with a barbell, weighted box dips, lying dumbbell kickbacks, a really interesting version of the kickback, side lying arm triceps extensions done with a cable station, again nothing I've ever seen before, the lying cross face dumbbell extension, and a rack that is on a power rack, close grip bench press lockouts. These are really, really excellent at um, finishing off the triceps and allow you to use enormous poundage. Uh, we're going to go through each of these exercises now. With the reverse lying tricep extension done with a barbell, firstly what I want to mention is that the barbell French press was popularized by John McWilliams who was also nicknamed John Arm McWilliams as pictured here. The man had enormous arms, well over 18 or 19 inches I believe, and um, basically the author Charles A. Smith now gives a lying version, a lying down version of the same exercise. What you want to do is you want to basically lie on a bench as if you are holding a barbell ready to do a supinated barbell curl. As I've listed here, um, you basically use a supinated curl grip with your palms up and you lie down on a bench. And uh, you want to hold the bar at arm's length, breathing in, you bring the bar down by bending at the elbows only, and then you breathe out as you extend the arm with a focus on contracting the triceps and holding for a count of three. You want to perform three sets of eight repetitions, and once you can perform 15 reps for three sets with that weight, you can increase the weight. The next exercise is the weighted box dip, which was a favorite of Alan P. Mead, who was actually a bronze era strongman. And I've done a video on him before. The guy had a phenomenal physique, considering that he was uh, disabled. Now you wanna either place a weight around your neck, or what I believe is much, much safer, place a, a weight on your thighs, basically lie a plate down on your thighs, for example. Then you brace your arms behind you on a block and stretch out your, your thighs in front of you. And you wanna breathe in deep and come right down by dipping down. And the key is to dip down as low as you can. And then breathing out, you wanna press up off the box by extending your arms and contracting, really contracting the arms out. Dip down as low as you can. The issue with then, I guess, 
extending the arms is that there's a risk that the plate is going to fall off. So um, you can try and put the, the plate on your thighs, but as the, as the author recommends, you can also just hang one around your head, or you can find a way of, I don't know, of placing a, a bar. Basically, I, maybe you want to use a, a vest, a resistance vest as well. There are many ways of basically adding more resistance. Eventually, you want to be using a weight that allows you to perform three sets of 10 repetitions. And once you can do 20 repetitions for three sets, you can increase the weight. The lying dumbbell kickback is next, and I really like this particular version of the kickback, and I'll explain why. Um, it's got to do with the cramping effect at the end. Um, basically, this kind, any kind of kickback exercise is going to give you that horseshoe effect on the triceps. So you want to lie face down on a bench with the dumbbells in hand, as shown in the diagram here, and you want to raise your upper arms against the side of your upper body with your forearms bent at the elbow with the weight hanging on the sides there, as you can see at the starting position. As you breathe in, you prepare, and then you breathe out and extend the arms to raise the weights. And when the arms are in a straight line, you raise the whole arm up behind you. And in doing so, you're gonna get such a strong, intense cramp in the tricep. You wanna hold it for a count of two, and that's the real important part, holding that contraction really feeling the cramp, that's going to give you that wonderful horseshoe effect. Lower and then repeat for three sets of seven reps. When, once you can perform 12 reps with the weight for three sets, you can increase the weight. Now here is a very novel exercise I haven't encountered before, the side lying single arm tricep extension on a cable station or lap machine. Uh, you want to lie on your side with the exercising arm resting on the lat muscle on your side. Holding the single arm attachment, you, you basically bend at the elbow, breathing in, as, and as you breathe out, you extend the arm, cramping the triceps again. Holding for a count of three, then you lower and repeat. You want to do this exercise for two sets of 10 reps for each arm, and once you can perform 20 reps with that weight, you can increase the weight. Now the lying cross face dumbbell extension as shown in the diagram here was actually a favorite of Steve Reeves. You wanna lie on a bench and you wanna use as heavy dumbbells as you can. You hold the dumbbells above your chest at arm's length. Bending at the elbows only, you lower the dumbbells onto your chest and breathe in for the starting position. As you breathe out, you raise the dumbbells overhead or over the chest, I should say, by extending the arms. Breathe in and lower and repeat for three sets of seven repetitions. Once you can perform 12 repetitions with that weight, you should increase the weight. The last exercise in this tricep specialization course are power rack close grip bench press lockouts. It's a power exercise performed, as I said, in the power rack. And you want to use a weight, a really, really heavy weight, basically something around your three rep max bench press. Um, now, it's going to be fairly safe, I'm assuming, if you already know how to power lift and do the bench press in a power lifting style. This involves a lot of bracing, which I'll briefly explain. Mind you, you want to use a narrow grip and not go too wide. Uh, this is going to be much safer for your joints. Now, as I mentioned, there's a lot of bracing when using very, very heavy weights. What does this mean? Is basically you're going to brace your upper torso to have greater stability. So to do this, you breathe in and you brace your upper torso and unrack the weight. This is gonna give you greater stability when unracking the weight. You breathe out briefly and then breathe in again and brace and lower the bar until the bar is reaching the safety pins. And then you extend the arms to lock out and then finally breathe out. The brace allows you to hold that breath and have greater stability when handling extremely heavy weights. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I highly recommend watching more YouTube videos on this or getting yourself a coach. But uh, making the most out of the power rack is gonna allow you to use very, very heavy weights, which are gonna in turn allow you to build more muscle. And of course, then you wanna repeat this. Again, it's a power movement, so you don't wanna do too many reps. So it's gonna be three sets of five reps only. Once you can perform eight reps with that weight, you can increase the weight. 
Now, if you're interested in learning more about the ARM specialization courses of the Silver Era, head on to my website, www.goldenerabookcom.com, where you're going to find several books on ARM specialization. For example, How to Build Bigger Arms by Reg Park, Arm Development by Barton Horvath, as well as Balanced Arms by Vince Geronda. And to learn more about muscle control, as I mentioned earlier, you can also find books by Maxic on my website, all available at www.goldenerabookham.com. So I do hope you have enjoyed watching this video on the Silver Era Tricep Exercises. I definitely have not seen some of these exercises before, and therefore I thought I would share these with you. If you employ any of these in your routine, let us know your results in the comments section, especially if your arms end up looking like Bill Pearls. Damn! Once again, appreciate the ridiculous size of his incredible triceps. Unbelievable. To me, to me at least, in my own humble opinion, he had the most massive and freakiest triceps of the silver and golden era. I mean, look at them. <laughs> it's incredible. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, share and subscribe to the Golden Era Book Women to support this channel. Become a patron, visit my website for Adam Print Books and Courses on Old School Bodybuilding. And if you'd like to, please support my campaign for a museum exhibition on bodybuilding. Details are given below. To get in touch, please do so via email and for monetary donations, use PayPal. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now.